case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1990, the attention of the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit turned towards an unusual case titled Rocky v. King. This was not your typical appellate case. It centered on the unique question of whether an individual plaintiff retains a personal stake in a lawsuit even when their individual claim no longer holds relevance and whether the court can retroactively apply an appeal court's reversal of a class certification denial. The plaintiff was Robert G. Rocky, an incarcerated field worker at the Louisiana State Penitentiary. Rocky filed a lawsuit against John T. King and others, arguing that his constitutional rights were violated while laboring in the penitentiary's fields. However, upon his removal from fieldwork, Rocky's personal grievance became null. This led to a dispute over the continuing validity of his lawsuit, since contentious conditions for current field workers still prevailed. Integrity-ridden John T. King, on the other side, believed that Rocky's claim lost all relevance with his withdrawal from the fields. Nevertheless, Rocky's arguments did not cease. He charged King and others with violation of inmate rights. The lack of basic sanitary facilities, such as toilets and hand-washing stations, bred health problems among the workers, adding weight to Rocky's claim. The Court of Appeals focused on the larger picture. While they acknowledged the ongoing relevance of confinement conditions for Angola's field workers, they deemed Rocky's individual claim moot. Hence, they overruled the lower court's decision and ordered its dismissal. This key decision signaled the court's belief that Rocky no longer had a personal stake in the lawsuit, leaving a marked precedent in the annals of judicial history. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.